I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay and Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Oakland Raiders. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. Inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? I mean, let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the chains, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to work his way down to the 16. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the same 16. On third down. It's Cole, and he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here, because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. First down, Carr. This will be caught at about the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Carr, really been an ideal start for them. And that's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Hunter Renfro there to make grab. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Oh. 
Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. First and ten. Here's Carr. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And he's going to go down again. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. He's airing it out for Williams. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. He's airing it out for Williams. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Carr. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Carr now on first down. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. To throw its car. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Alex Anzalone in there to get him. It's a loss of five. After the sack on first down, Carr. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Mike 56, Mike. Carr now to throw. And that is incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. Not only was the call... Throwing on first down is Carr. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. And another thing makes... And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria. And the pressure gets to him again. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down, May, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. 
So we've reached halftime here on open. All right, we will. This one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Card to the throw. Throw right side into the hands of Foster Moreau. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Carr. This throw over the middle, taken in by Cole. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. It's complete to Brown, right side. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 12-yard line. That catch for his career is number 731, and that's the number that Calvin Johnson ended with when he stopped his career in 2016. Yeah, what could have been for him. So maybe now what we'll see is someone else continue to elevate their game and put this number well in his rearview mirror. I think 800, not out of line here. On second and seven, Carr, and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Hunter Renfro, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's They'll run on first down. Cole. And he'll. Be upended at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Cole. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A big play there, 50 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because... First down, Cole. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second and one, Carr over the middle here to Brown. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Carr now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Carl come up here with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability... First down, it's Cole, and he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground, Cole, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. On first down, it's Cole. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. For plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got was just off? He's know. got thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great play there with now three week one touchdowns as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point he's got the hat trick three touchdowns now did you throw yours did you throw yours for only about a yard up to the 21. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Cole. Pretty nice move, but not a ton of space there. They stop him shy of the 25. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late goal. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Pass complete, Car to Brown. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get in there and knock it away. Now Carr over the middle complete. It's Brown. 
And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by... On first down, Cole. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Get right now. One, right on one. 185. You're coming to one. They'll run on first down. It's Cole. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Cole. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. What can Carr do now with his drive? Caught out right by Renfro. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. Never make the mistake with the slot receivers, especially the little. There he goes left side. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Oakland, it was a game that could have gone either way, but they get the touchdown in overtime to secure the week one victory. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, we're off to Atlanta for their home opener. Standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Oakland Raiders and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in Week 1. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Yeah. 
first down. It's Cole, and he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. The numbers for him from a week ago. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. The last run got six, now second and four. On play action, it's Carr. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And again this time to the tailback. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. On first and ten, Carr catches made by Hunter Renfro. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. into the red zone it's Carr this will be caught just inside the 10 and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 10 more there and another first down how about the start throwing the football 4 for 4 on this opening drive oh he's slinging it and oftentimes when you talk about slinging it you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard not necessarily accurately in this case though he's honing in on his targets and he's delivering yeah the opening script however for this first drive going to plan so far. On second down now, it's Cole. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down to it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they scored in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly still... Second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. 
Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Carr. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set them back for second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. So he's in for his third score of the game, and a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. First down, Carr. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Carr now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Carr completes it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. We got Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Carr now on first down. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in the second week of the regular season. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So they're backed up in the... Th and he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. And let's... On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. A nice little juke. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room. 
and then try to add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Here's Connor towards the end zone for Brown. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire... First and ten, here's Carr. He's going deep for Brown. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play that time for the Raiders. 45 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up. And they are shredding them in this ballgame. Carr now on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. A cool little accomplishment for him passing the football. 25,000 yards, he just surpassed that for his career. When he was a little guy in the backyard just throwing it around probably with his dad. He and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide. taken down but able to slip across the 35 give him 13 yards on the opening play drive and also give him a first down and with that last play he's now up over that 300 yard mark and in today's nfl it almost feels routine and i hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game to me 300 yards still signifies excellence and he's achieved that in this performance and the first play of the drive there is incomplete now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Cole. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A big play there. 54 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what does he think? Down, 185. One, later one. Defense, keep it up, guys. <laughs> on first down, Carr. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Benson Mayola able to put it into that play, and in so doing, puts an end to this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. It's a foot race. The 40. Pass the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great play there. 
84 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Well, I'm just not sure what more we can say about him after that one. But we're certainly going to give it a try, aren't we? Because I believe we're watching greatness personified. It has not mattered all game long where they've handed him the football. He's taken it and found the end. What now? What, Hey, 734. You, you, you. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Through an opening, and there he goes. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. That is something you almost never see. A punt return better than 100 yards from one end zone to the other as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, it certainly feels like that kind of game, doesn't it? No matter what they do, it's going to work. That might be the absolute crusher right there. A punt return. and 10. Carr, man open left side is Brown. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. On the end around, here comes Williams. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to fight. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A great effort there. 69 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And partner, are you kidding me with this game that he's having? We are in uncharted waters like we've never seen before. Just think, if he keeps every football from all the touchdowns scored today, <laughs> does he need to build a new trophy room uh, at yeah, home? Yeah, yeah, a couple trophy rooms, <laughs> maybe a whole home for a trophy room. Throwing on first down. Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. And now this pass brought in by Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Carr going to look to throw. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Now Carr. 
after the incomplete pass brings him up second and 10. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of... And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that... A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Raiders... It was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.